Um, so this is my February favourites video. I can't believe it's February favourites time already. Um, it's actually only three weeks tomorrow till we go on holiday, so I am so excited. And um, probably not by the time I've uploaded this video, it'll be less than three weeks. Um, it will be two weeks on Sunday. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and time is absolutely flying. So um, yeah, so this is my February favourites video anyway, to get back to the point. Um, and a lot of this stuff I've mentioned before, some of the things are new, but not very many things. Um, and I am excited to show you what I have been using this month and what I've been excited about using. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about the Naked 2 palette because I haven't spoken about this a lot. Um, but I do really, really like it. I've been using it a lot more. This has pretty much been my go-to eyeshadow palette this month. Um, I particularly like Foxy and Tease, which are the two matte shades. And I think Snake Bite is a real dupe for Smog, it's a real similar um, colour to Smog, which is my favourite from the Naked number one. YDK and Copper I love. YDK is a beautiful gold, um, kind of bronzy kind of gold colour that I really like. And I just think there's a lot less glitter and fallout in this whole palette. So I do really like it, it's a lot cooler tone, and I will do a video on it because a couple of people have asked for it. Um, but yeah, I've used that a lot, so that's been my number one favourite eyeshadow this month for sure. Um, I'm going to mention the Fashionista palette as well. This is the blush palette, not the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette I pretty much used for a couple of days after buying it and then that was it. I'm not overly impressed with the eyeshadows. Um, but the blushes are absolutely amazing. I've actually just bought a new palette um, full of blushes. And accidentally, I repurchased one that's already in this palette. But my favourite one is... What is this called? Butterscotch. Because it's not too pigmented, it's this one. I'm not going to... You can barely see it on my hand. Um, it just gives a nice little glow and I don't need to be too careful about being heavy handed with it in the morning when I'm quickly getting ready. Um, so yeah, I really, really love those blushes and I would definitely recommend them. They're like four, four blushes in a palette for £12. Um, is the, it seems like it's a permanent deal now. I thought it was a, an intro offer. But it seems like it's a permanent deal. So I would recommend those um, to give those a go. Because uh, that butter scotch one particularly I use every single day. The other ones are all a little bit pigmented for me but I'm going to find a way to use them. Um, Next, face-wise, um, the Garnier BB Cream. I'm just kind of passing, talking about things that I've already mentioned, but I'm still using that every day. Uh, I have bought a couple of foundations recently that I keep trying out, and I'm trying to find the best foundation to take to Vegas with me, because as the weather's getting a little bit milder, um, and I'm doing a lot of walking during the day, my makeup seems to be kind of sweating off my face, and the Garnier BB Cream, much as I love it, and I'll probably continue to use it as my underneath moisturiser, I feel like I need something with a little more staying power. And no amount of primer really keeps that on my face all day if I'm getting warm. So, um, yeah, I've been looking for other things. I like my colour today, but it's a bit drying. Um, I like the last in finish, the Miracle Matte. Where is that? This one, Miracle Matte from 17. I like that one too, but again, a little bit drying. So I'm looking for other things. I've got L'Oreal Infallible. I'm trying that at the moment, what I'm wearing today. Um, but we'll see if next month we have a different favourite. Um, a new favourite this month is the Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. I've mentioned this already um, in a haul video and I have reviewed it and I'll try and remember to link that below. Uh, but it's got two colour correcting concealers as opposed to a, colour, a concealer that actually matches your skin tone. So you've got the peach on one side for your under eye and the yellow tone concealer for blemishes and redness. And then on top is a uh, setting powder. So when I go on holiday, what I'm considering doing is rather than taking my all over setting powder that I normally take, I might take that instead. I'm in two minds, it depends on how much space that I've got, um, but I'm considering doing that instead. I really like that it's a kind of multi-use product. Um, the setting powder that I have been really enjoying is the Shine Control from Seventeen. It's just translucent powder, it's nothing special. Um, but it really does control shine and it's actually better than my Rimmel Stay Matte. If I had to choose one to repurchase, it would be this one right now. So I've been using that every day as well. And um, My mascaras haven't changed. I'm still using my Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal. Um, on my top lashes and my Daniel Sandler Baby Jet on my bottom lashes every single day. Um, and I'm actually finding that as this dries, I'm preferring the consistency. It's giving me a little bit more thickness to my lashes, so I'm really enjoying this at the moment. And I'll probably repurchase that and the Maybelline one by one. I know I keep saying that, uh, but I'll probably repurchase them both at the same time to really run them up against each other. Um, what else? Eyeliners. Now, I just haven't been able to decide this month. Previously, I'd really, really returned to my liquid eyeliner in a big way. I really like the way it opens up my eyes. 
Um, I'm pretty quick with it, so in the morning I can do it pretty quickly and I look like I've got a full face of makeup. I just think it gives me that, that little bit of more polished look, liquid eyeliner, um, and it doesn't rub off like a normal eyeliner will. So I've been using this, it's the Glam Eyes from Rimmel, for my liquid eyeliner days, but I have been back to my Urban Decay, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On eyeliner pencil the other days. So because I've been using my naked palette, I've been doing some kind of smoky looks and stuff, and I think that more suits um, the kind of rimmed black eyeliner look than the liquid eyeliner look. So I have been alternating between those two looks, and those are the two eyeliners I've used most this month. Um, I've also gone back to using my HD Brows palette instead of my Rimmel eyebrow pencil, because my eyebrow pencil just seemed to be getting a little bit harsh. I used the eyebrow palette today, and I do think that my eyebrows are a touch they're not quite as bad now as they were this morning. This morning they were really, really bold, and I find it really difficult not to be heavy-handed, like I said about the blushes, um, with my eyebrows. And I don't want to go too dark and too like Kim Kardashian, but because my eyebrows are so sparse and light, I pretty much have to start from scratch, so it's kind of starting with no eyebrows. Um, I have kind of starting off points, so I know that they're not going to be kind of in two different places on my forehead. However, um, other than that, I'm just creating them from nothing, so there is always the chance that I'm going to go a little bit overboard and in the morning they do look a little bit dark. So I'm going to try and find something that's not quite as pigmented as I said with the blushes because this is a great palette and even for eyeshadows this is a really great palette but it is, it's very very pigmented. If you, if you see that it's almost impossible to, to use a light hand with this. Um, so I'm looking for something slightly less, probably from MAC. I don't find MAC eyeshadows to be particularly pigmented, not compared to Urban Decay and these. So I'm probably looking for something from them, like Espresso or something that I might try and use. Um, and the eyebrow... The brush I've been using to fill my eyebrows in is the brow brush from Samantha Chapman Real Techniques. And I think this makes some quick work of the job. Um, a few more things I have left. This I have to mention because I've been using this loads this month. It's got in my handbag and um, I used it in my last few videos. People kept asking. Um, I made a few videos last week and they went up kind of in um, here and there with other things in between. But every time one of those videos went up, everyone was like, oh my god, what are you wearing in your lips? And it's this. It's the Hypershine Gloss. I think it's in Vixen. I looked it up online. I don't think that it says anywhere on here what the... No, it doesn't say anywhere what the actual shade is called, but I looked it up online and it's called Vixen. It's kind of like the hot pink colour um, online. It's £1.50, but it's a really, really lovely shade, so I've been using this a lot this month. I've got a few of these that I bought um, a while ago, and I tried them once and was like, yeah, that's great, whatever, um, hauled them. And I'm, as with a lot of things, I buy them for YouTube or I buy them to review on my blog, and then I never use them again. And it's such a waste. I know that a few bloggers have actually started doing something called a Sunday night switch up, where they'll go in and... Um, go through their makeup collection and say, right, this is what I'm going to use this month or this week or whatever. Um, and that way they use more of the makeup collection. I think I'm going to have to start doing something similar because I've got a big makeup drawer underneath my desk here. And then I've got a massive tower, not a massive tower, but a tower of drawers next to me that's got all the rest of my makeup in. So I do occasionally switch things out, but even within my drawer that I've got right now in front of me, um, I'll show you at the end of the video, I've got a lot of stuff that doesn't really get used so I'm gonna to have to try and find a way of moving things into a better circulation but this I've been using a lot and everyone has to buy it in video so yeah elf hyper shine lip gloss in Vixen um Lady Million has been my perfume of the month I liked this for a long time I finally bought it last year and this will be the one that's coming with me on holiday I love it it's a sweet smell and just smells like beautiful things um Moroccan oil I'll bet none of you thought this was going to be in here I still love, I didn't even want to get them out of the bathroom because there's no point I've spoken about them so much. My Aussie Shampoo and Conditioner, Miracle Moist, and the um, Macadamia Oil and the Macadamia Oil Mask. I still use those all the time. Um, I haven't used anything else for quite a while. Um, however, I've been using this, this little Moroccan oil to finish with, um, to kind of like get rid of flyaways and give me kind of a shiny um, finish to my hair after I've blow dried it or scrunch with or whatever else. And... Um, I actually really, really like this. And when it was on Biopower last week, I bought a really big one. And it's a really big one. I forgot to haul this. I've just filmed my haul video. And I forgot to haul this. And it's huge. And I think I paid, like, about £20, basically, um, for something that's supposed to be £30. So it's still got a good deal. 
but it's a huge bottle um, and then it comes with a pump as well so now I have two massive ones like a, a big a big one of the macadamia, a big one of the Moroccan oil, and a little one of the Moroccan oil, and a little one of the macadamia. So I'm going to do a real comparison review soon, because I know I did a little one a while ago, but I've changed my mind about all sorts of things since then, after using them for quite a few months. So I'm going to do a big review soon, a big comparison. Um, and I think the last three things in front of me, um, I have Elizabeth Arden's 8 Hour Cream. I very occasionally use this on my face, and I might do tonight. Um, because occasionally I get very very dry skin and I've had some real dry patches kind of here and underneath my chin even though I've got a little breakout that's just threatening today um, but some real dry patches so I think I'll put my normal moisturiser on and then this in the little bits where I'm particularly dry um, but this has been for my lips pretty much use this as a lip balm and so it's lasting me forever um, but I will buy this again as a lip balm I've got the lip balm but that doesn't last as well as this does um, and my lips have been so sore and dry so this has been an absolute godsend um, and on that same footing, because I've been so dry everywhere, I have been using my Garnier 7 Day um, Shea Butter Intensive 7 Day Moisturiser. This is for dry to extra dry skin. And I was talking to um, Laura Loves Beauty on Twitter today and she was saying how she was really pleased that I'd mentioned it because it works for her really well. And two days after using it, you still feel moisturised. And it's true. I'm really, really dry skinned in the winter. And especially, I don't know if it's because since I have Milo, I've got drier. Or just as I've got older, I've got drier. I'm not sure. But um, I'm really, really dry skinned at the moment. And I can't be bothered to moisturise every single night. It's just a pain. So if I do this every other night, every, every, every other night, um, I still feel moisturised all the time. So I would definitely recommend that to the lazier girls out there like me. Um, I can't really be bothered all of the time because it works really well and I'm taking one of those on holiday with me for sure. The last thing, I'm not sure I've mentioned in the video, I don't think that I hold it, again I forgot to mention it in my last haul video and um, I have mentioned it a couple of times in my blog already and I've reviewed it but I haven't mentioned it in the video yet and it's going to get its own video but I thought I would mention it now and it is the um, Sigma Cleansing and Polishing Tool. I bought this basically to compare it with the Clarisonic. Before I got my Clarisonic, I was seriously considering buying this because I was like, do I want to spend £120 on a Clarisonic um, when this is like $35 or something? Um, I think it works out... What does it work out at? It works out about £25 to buy and then I think I spent £10 or £11 on shipping, um, which, you know, it's, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but compared to the £120 Clarisonic, it's a lot cheaper. Um, I would say because I really like this. It comes with three brush heads. The one that it's got on is the... The one that it's got on is the... Um, deep cleansing one. And it's got a little kind of thing that it comes in. Um, and then it's got... It's got the firm head, the medium head, and the sensitive head, basically. And the white bristles are firmer, and the... The um, pink ones are softer. So this one's got malt white bristles, so it's firm, basically. The last time I used this, I used this to kind of scrub my body. I would use this firm one on my face, even, um, once or twice a week. Um, and the sensitive one the rest of the time. But so far, I actually prefer this to the Clarisonic. I hate to tell you that. Those of you that have already bought the Clarisonic, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure the Clarisonic's doing something really special for me, uh, long term. But for a clean feeling after I've used it, I really, really like this. I really like this. Um, and Sigma's still got 10% off, I think, for two more days, so you can check the link below for that, and it's always in the bestsellers section. Um, but I'm going to do a separate review on this. I wanted to get it up before the 10% ended, but I'm sure they'll probably do it again in the next couple of months. And I, I will link the full review that I did online um, on my blog, because I compared that with the Clarisonic. And the Clarisonic, I'm sure, is fantastic, and I will continue to use it, but I am going to alternate this in for a more deep scrub. Um, and I did kind of talk about all the the points, you know, how it runs, um, differences in price, differences in price for brush heads, when you have to change the brush heads. Um, like this has got batteries that's rechargeable, but I use rechargeable batteries and it ends up, you know, the last forever. Um, so I, I kind of compared all the different parts of it and told you exactly how much everything costs. So you can look at that, that uh, review below on my blog if you're interested in it, but that's definitely a favourite for me this month because I'm so impressed with it. I didn't really think I was going to be, still wanted to be, but I am. So this is a firm, 
a firm, definite favourite in my bathroom and it's always standing next to my Clarisonic. So, uh, yeah, that's all of my favourites for this month. I'm hoping I haven't forgotten anything. Normally I do. Um, like, after the whole video, I was like, oh, so many things I forgot to tell you I bought. Um, but yes, that's my favourites for this month. Next month's favourites, I'm really hoping we'll have some American stuff in it that I bought in Vegas. Um, but again, if you've got any particular requests, I am going to pick some stuff in Vegas up for a review. No, I'm not. Uh, for a giveaway, I've already been picking some stuff up here um, and putting things together because I'm going to do a monster giveaway. I think it's the 18th of April. Something around there um, is my YouTube anniversary. So I'm going to do a big two-year anniversary giveaway. So... Um, yeah, if you've got any particular things that you'd like me to do as a giveaway that we can't get in the UK or whatever, like Maybelline colour tattoos are going to be a definite one, um, let me know and you can put a comment below. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe and check out my other links and channels and stuff below.